All right, post-trib moment number 16. More lies coming at you. Today I want to talk about the 24 elders. Now, the 24 elders are mentioned in Revelation chapters 4 and 5. You say, well, who are these elders? Well, the Bible uses the word elder throughout the New Testament, and it's used synonymously with the word bishop or pastor. So these 24 elders are basically 24 pastors or 24 bishops, to use the more biblical term. And the Bible talks about these 24 elders being up in heaven in Revelation 4 and 5 before the first seal is even opened. And so a lot of pre-tribbers have pointed to this and said, see, this is proof of a pre-trib rapture. Of course, even though there's no mention of the rapture in the book of Revelation up to this point. Okay, let me just stop here for a minute. He just said that there's no mention of the rapture up to this point. Let's look about that. Revelation chapter 4, verse 1. After this I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven, and the first voice which I heard was, as it were, of a trumpet talking with me. I'll get back to that in a minute. Which said, Come up hither, and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. Now look at this. And immediately... Not, I saw the sun and the moon darken and the stars fell from heaven like at the second coming. It's immediately I was in the spirit and behold a throne was set in heaven and one sat on the throne. What is this? This is the rapture. John got to experience the rapture. Okay? I mean, read the passages. Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 15 in case you haven't seen some of the other ones. And we'll see here the difference between the second coming, every eye sees Jesus Christ, and there's a lot that happens in the sky and in the heavens before he comes down. With the rapture, it's said to be a mystery. We shall be changed. Now look at this. In a moment in the twinkling of an eye. Like you could say, uh, perhaps immediately, like it says in Revelation chapter 4. Yeah. Yeah. What happened there in Revelation chapter 4 was the rapture. Okay, so Steve Anderson said, there's no rapture up to this point. Yes, there is. There is a rapture. Okay, now I want you to see something else here. At the last trump, this word right here is very interesting. This is in your King James Bible. A lot of the new versions will mess this up. Trump is the word there. And you say, well, what a coincidence there. It can't appear in both places, can it? Uh, yes, actually it can. The trump of God. Now, what does the word trump mean? The word trump means the voice, the sound that the trumpet makes. Okay? And by the way, a lot of these liars, these post-tribbers, will say that the trumpet that is sounded there is, is the trumpet that's blown, you know, an angel sounds it or something like that. Look at this. The trump of God. What's going on there? The trump. Now let me show you what's significant about that. Remember, this is the sound that the trumpet makes. Go back to Revelation chapter 4. Revelation chapter 4. The first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me. It doesn't say he heard a trumpet blowing a musical tune it's a trumpet talking with me let me show you something else that's significant about this John chapter 10 okay up here in verse 3 okay it says here that the sheep hear his voice and he calleth his own sheep by name and leadeth them out hmm and by the way, it goes on to say here that they're saying, you know, they, these people that are there listening to him, they don't understand what he's saying. See? They understood not what things they were which he spake unto them. Jesus Christ was here giving a reference to the rapture, not the second coming. Okay, that's why they didn't understand what he was talking about. John chapter 10 is another passage about the rapture, the catching away of the body of Christ. But it, he calls them, when we leave, he calls us by name and leads us out. 
See, it all ties together. And Steve Anderson here has no idea about such things. Let's continue. We'll see more of his lies here. But they say, well, just the fact that these 24 elders are even in heaven, that proves that the rapture has taken place. And, and then some of them have even said the four beasts, they also represent those that are saved, of course. Well, give me a break. When did anybody ever say that? What's his proof for that? I mean, point me to a sermon where a pre-trib rapture teacher said that the four beasts, which are seraphim, you know, that that somehow is a picture of a Christian. I mean, he's just, he's lying here. Again, he seems to be very good at lying for some reason. They're animals, but uh, somehow they, they think that the beasts are also... Uh, now, check this out. Look how he's, he stutters around because he realizes that he's lying. Let me just back it up a little bit. Watch him, watch him stutter and stammer around here because he knows he's lying and because he couldn't prove this to save his life. I've never heard one pre-trib rapture teacher say that the, the four beasts there around the throne are Christians. He's lying. And that's why he, he, he stutters all around. Watch. Uh, somehow they, they think that the beasts are also uh, uh, indicative uh, of Christians uh, being uh, up in heaven. Uh, because they've been raptured, but here's the th uh, 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 uh. See he's a liar Thing that I want to explain the fact that 24 elders are in heaven in chapters 4 and 5 does not teach a preacher rapture because I've got news for you There are millions of people in heaven right now and The rapture hasn't taken place yet. In fact, if I die tonight, I'll be in heaven Well We'll see about that, but the whole point here is he's saying that there are souls in heaven and that's all that these 24 elders are. Okay, um, why would you believe a thing like that? See, he's so desperate to disprove the pre-tribulation rapture that he has to get away from the clear teachings of scripture. They're never called souls. He'll go on to talk about Revelation chapter 6. I'll show you here. Revelation chapter 6. And you can watch the video just to make sure I'm not misquoting him or anything. But uh, it goes on here, uh, Revelation 6, 9, opens the fifth seal, and he saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. And he says, well, see, there are souls there. Okay, go back to Revelation chapter 4. The four and twenty elders fall down before him that sat on the throne. Does it say that they're souls? No doesn't say that they're souls. How about up here? Upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting, clothed in white raiment, and they had on their heads crowns of gold. Now, if you're a Bible-believing Christian, a student of Scripture, you'll look at that and you'll say, it doesn't say that they're souls. The ones over there in Revelation chapter 6, yeah, it says that they're souls, but it says nothing about these men being s just souls, disembodied souls doesn't say that okay so again he is lying here the burden of proof is on him not on pre-trib rapture believers he has to prove that those 24 elders are just souls disembodied souls he couldn't do it to save his life again he is a liar 